Oh hi, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be playing some Torchlight 2, going over the character creation, and giving you guys a general first impression of the game. Uh, so, when you create a character, you get a choice between four different classes. An Ember Mage, who's like a caster type guy. A Berserker, who's just a melee physical fighter. Uh, an Engineer. I don't really know what he is. I think he's more, he could be like mid-range combat, uh, but I'm not 100% sure about him. And the Outlander, who is a gunslinger. Now, I'm gonna be playing the out, uh, the Outlander because I like this kind of classes, like gunslinger type, archers, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's see. Pick that one, and that hair is fine. And we'll have it like that color. Okay. And I'll just name myself uh, self comments. Yeah. And then you have a choice between eight different pets. Every class gets a pet. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're an outlander. You can be anything and get a pet. An ender ma ember mage or anything. So you have a choice between panther, bulldog, cat, this little chicken, like reptile, raptor thing. I don't even know what it is. Uh, a dog, ferret, hawk, and a wolf. I'm going to be picking this chicken thing, because it's pretty awesome. I guess I'll name him Skylar. Uh, and I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty. I'm, oh, one thing, I'm glad they have hardcore in this. Uh, it is a permadeath, so you die once and you're dead forever. And you have to redo everything, like start a new character and everything, which is a nice like feature to have. Uh, so I'm going to be playing on normal. You have to create a game. So I'm just going to like create one with like a random password. And yeah, I'm actually going to be skipping the intro video uh, just because it's going to take up a bit of time. And I mean, yeah, it's not really, there's, it's not that interesting. I mean, you kind of, it's just basically the gist of it is, is that the guy, the alchemist comes and he just starts fucking shit up. And that's the gist of like the story so far. Uh, I haven't played Torchlight 1, so I don't actually know how the story goes. Uh, so I don't know any of these characters or anything like that. So, but yeah, uh, let's go talk to this guy. We'll get the quest. We have to go tell some guy that the alchemist is fucking shit up. Uh, let's go over, I, actually I'll go over a little bit of like the UI and stuff like that. Uh, so okay, you press C and you can go to your character. Uh, like your character page for stats. And every time you level up, you get, I think it's five stat points every time you level up. And you also get one skill point. Which is, is it P? Not P, K, S, I don't, sorry, I don't know all like the keys and stuff yet. But uh, S, and you get like, you can spec into a whole bunch of like different skills. Each skill has 15 points that you can put into it. So, I think the maximum level in this game is like 100. I might be wrong. Uh, but, yeah, so you have like different warfare, lore, and then the sigil skills. They start you out with a skill every, with every class. Mine is Glaive Throw, which is just like you throw a glaive. Uh, yeah, so uh, two other things I'd like to go over are that this is your inventory screen, and you can see like all the stuff you can equip. And then the main thing is that I want to show you guys is this, which is the, the pet equipment screen. Your pet can actually carry items, and your pet can equip like different stuff. And then... You're, you also, so you have uh, your inventory, consumable inventory, which is like potions and scrolls and stuff, and then your spells. And then your pet also has their inventory, their consumables, their spells, and a shopping list, which, okay, say you're out in like the field and you need potions or you need scrolls or whatever. I don't know, you can buy like, right, it only has like potions and scrolls, but I'm, I'm gonna assume there's like some other little stuff you can get as well. Uh, you wanna get those, you go, uh, and tell him to go buy them and he'll run to town and buy them for you so you don't have to go back which is pretty awesome uh, I haven't used it at all yet but because I haven't gotten really far when I tested it out but so yeah uh, so let's start going towards the place I need to go the other town it's like somewhere up here uh, this game is really fast paced I don't know if you guys see that like look at Playing Diablo 3, which I mean, it's not slow paced or anything, but and going to this, it's just this is like 
this guy's on fucking crack. Like, he's so fast. Just look at him run. Jesus. But, but yeah, all the starting guys take, like, one hit. They're really easy. I mean, even on hardcore. Because it's, like, it's the beginning area. Of course it's not going to fucking be hard as shit. They don't want to do that. Even, like, on the hardest difficulty. That doesn't really make sense. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I think I mentioned about the alchemist who's fucking shit up. He's, all this shit is, like, his fault, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why... All these fucking cre creatures just decided to come out as well. Maybe he summoned them. I don't know. They're kind of assholes, though. Just fucking shit up. Like, we didn't invite you here. Why the fuck are you here? Uh, where am I going now? God, I'm going to get lost so many times. If you press M, it opens up your map. Uh, you can have a map, like, on the screen, which is pretty nice. Die, little fucking rat things. Actually, oh, they are ratlins. But, I got to go up more, yeah. So, what was I saying about... Yeah, you can have this little mini map up, and you can actually put it like on the sides if you want, which is pretty cool. Like I like that feature. Sometimes I like to have the map up, just chilling there. So it's a really nice feature. So I leveled up. Uh, as you can see, whenever you level up, I said this before, you get get out of my way, shit. You get stat points. You get five per level, and you get a skill point. I'm gonna spec into not that one S. The only thing that I can get that's like an actual like move and not a passive which is rapid fire which if you've played Diablo 3 or I guess a lot of games probably have a, a move like this it's just you shoot your guns really fast like this as you see and it uses a ton of mana though so I probably won't be using that very often probably use glaive throw most of the time during this video sorry I had to adjust my headset so I got to the town that I need to talk to people and there's, I mean, pretty much, I'm pretty sure he was already here. Because look at this shit. There's, like, dead soldiers and, like, they're fucking, I don't even know what they're doing. But, or they're sleeping. I don't know. But, yeah, he probably was already here. And, yeah, arrived too late. He was already here. Uh, so you get a choice between all this shit. I don't really want to use a bow, honestly. So I'll get the bow, but I'm just going to keep my gun. And now we have to go scout the Wellspring Temple and protect the Guardian. So we'll go do that. Okay, uh, and, uh, th something I found out earlier in another video is you can fucking fish in this game. So, you can fish, and then you have to, like, time it. So, right there. See, and you get a fish. And see, I got a webfish, which is... I don't know what a fucking webfish is. Doesn't sound very appetizing, but... This guy wants us to get armor schematics. Uh, we'll maybe pick him up if we fucking see him. Yeah, but I'm not going to go out of my way to pick up that shit. Uh, M. M, M, M. There we go. Okay, so... So I played through this area a little tiny bit. Like, I think I got a little bit farther than this or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, a, like, a crypt I got to. I can't remember. But it seems like the maps are, like, random. They're not just, like, pre... The same map over and over again. Because when I came out of the town, I went, like, southeast instead of this way. So... Uh, level up to three. Nice. Get. Stop. Lose my chicken. Go. Fight. Look at him. He's not even fighting. Well, I guess they're all dead now, but... I probably should pick up most of this stuff. I was gonna say junk, but I fucking need this. It's not junk. Okay. Where am I going now? That little star down there is where I would need to go. It's not that far away. I'm probably gonna just skip past a lot of these guys, because, like... I don't know. I was just like, holy shit, there's a lot. I don't want to fucking sit here and just kill shit all day. I want to go and fucking find out about the story and how what shit's going down. But jeez, I got to go up now? Why isn't there a straight path down? That doesn't make any sense. Get out of here, skeleton. This glaive throw is pretty fucking awesome. It, t it just hits everyone. Look at this shit. Fuck you. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? A golden key? What does that do? What does it do? Stop. I'm going to pick that up. You found golden key. Okay. The, okay. I'm, I guess it's for like a chest, maybe. I don't know why it's purple. That's a fucking epic. That seems like it'd be pretty rare. Maybe I'm just that lucky and I got one and they're really rare. But, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're so close. Just get out of the way. Can't do shit. Just, just die. Just fall on your face and die. Look at this shit. Shatter their shields. They can't even fucking defend against flying glaives that go through the air and chop off their fucking... Skeleton skulls. Okay, so we made it in here. This is level like seven area. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. 
It's probably not a good idea. Uh, yeah. Let's go back. Wait, what level am I? Am I like level five? Because five's a good area. I, I, I'd go in here at level five. Uh, level three. Oh, that's not happening. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I should have that waypoint. It's a lot of work to go back in there, though. But yeah, so let's try that little, like, pet thing out. Oh, I should probably spec, honestly. Yeah, let's get, let's get a whole bunch of crit. Get up to, like, 5%. Oh, come on. Only four? I guess that's okay. Hey, go buy me a mana potion, okay? How do I do you? Send pet to town. Go. He fucking is just booking it to town. It takes him 30 seconds to go get me a potion. And he'll bring that shit back. And I have five right now. So I should have six if it works properly. Uh. Ooh, a locked golden chest. Perfect. I didn't get very much stuff. Oh, a sweet blade. Nice. Yeah, just get tore up. I don't know why the fucking glaive sometimes, like, curves like that. Look at that shit. Like, I was playing earlier and I hit, like, a skeleton. And it fucking just went around him and didn't do anything. Oh, thank you for that potion that you bought for me with my money. So, yeah, I think the farthest I got was like a crypt around here. It's like a dungeon. So I really want to find that again. Oh, a shrine. What's that do? I guess that like heals me up. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Where is that crypt at? Some, she wanted me to get like a scroll for her or something. Get, is that a boss? Oh shit, it is. What the fuck? It's kills off. Oh, oh my god, just kill him. He's no, oh, he's terrible. He's bad. He casts lightning surge or whatever, but he's done. So all these items, ghastly boots. Look at this shit. It's awesome. Kind of wasted my money on that health potion because I just got like three off that guy. Okay. So here's a, the corrupt crypt thing, and this woman wants me to go get a scroll that's in there. So let's go do that. Get out of here. Stop. I'm trying to just play this game. Okay. Let's, uh. Yeah, this. It's like level three to four. So I'm gonna kill stuff, but not, like, really that much. Stop. What are you throwing at me? Pearls fucking. What? Oh, skulls. Wow, okay. Well, they're done. Where's my. Okay, go, chicken, go. I don't understand what. Why is that chicken raptor, like, one of the pets? Like. Every other pet is like a real, like, living thing, like a dog or like a fucking wolf. This one's just some random, like, made up dinosaur fucking chicken thing. Ugh, I don't even know. Okay. Zombies can't touch me, can't touch me. <sighs> so, yeah, I really want to get. I'm hoping that, like, one of the things that drops is, like, one of the spells that you can get. Because you can get spells that aren't, like, in your talent tree, they're just, like, actual spells that you pick up off the ground and like items I really want to show one off because they're fucking awesome but I don't know if I'll get one let's see if I'll get one oh. <sighs> if you oh you might have noticed this bar down here it's an it's the outlander charge bar stop like the more it goes up the more you get of like stats see like because I'm not in battle anymore it's going down so if you keep it up you have like increased like ability to fight casting speed and stuff like that. I think it, it might be every time you kill somebody, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's see. Yeah, by damaging enemies, so. Which is pretty cool. This is a, this is a fun class. Uh, if you guys like Diablo-type games, or like Diablo in general, you'll definitely like this game. And it's going to have four-player co-op, so you can buy this game for $15, I think is the price and play it with your friends. I don't know how long it is, but apparently there's a hundred levels, so that means it's gonna be decent length. So definitely pick this game up if you guys like are into these kind of games. So much fun. Diablo 3 and I mean I'm playing like both of these like in the same time frame. Like I just actually got off Diablo 3 a couple an hour ago I think. It was like about an hour ago. And they're they're both amazing. Like you just need to play both. If you, if you uh, yeah if you have the time, it's so much fun. But I'll stop ranting about how much fun it is, and fucking actually play and not skeleton stop. Yeah, that's what you fucking break into a hundred pieces and disappear for some reason. Die, ice wand. That's not for my class. Get out of here. Get you can't just get out of here. Chicken attack. Why are you like running the fuck over there? 
You can see his health is low. I don't know how to fucking heal him up or anything. I don't want to go upstairs. I want to go down. Oh, I went around in a circle. I'm great at this game. I'm so pro. Oh, just get... Stop. Glaives. These gla this glaive is OP. Look at it. It's amazing. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other skills I can get? No. Sigils. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get more of this. Make that better. So co maybe it'll cost less mana, so I don't have to fucking... Because it's a waste right now. I guess it'll do more damage as well. But okay. Uh, what are we doing here again? We getting like a scroll? I think that's what we're doing, yeah. Holy shit, I need like a roll ability. That would help out so much. Because I feel... I mean, the game's going by fast, but... Holy shit, this dungeon is long as shit. There is the like... Fallen Guardian place. I think that's where we need to go. <sighs> Let's see. Hopefully. Let's see. Yes! No, I don't know. Looks like the way we need to go. I mean, down. I don't want to go the fuck back up, so... The only other way to go is down. Move. Shit. Can't touch me. I will kill... I will kill every single one of you right now. Look at this. Can't... Oh, shit. They're kind of touching me now. Uh... Three. It's three. Get... Get out of here, skeleton warrior. What was that? Portal to the surface? Why would I want to go there? I haven't gotten the scroll yet. That's just... Tur oh, you can't take any... Oh, look at that shit. They're all getting wrecked. I'm out of mana. That's not cool. Pale Shambler. You cannot be interrupted. Well, I'll just fucking run around him. I don't need to interrupt him. Chicken, fight! Look at him! He's not helping at all. He's just sitting there. Like, look at him. Why would you do that, ever? That's so fucking annoying. Come on, help out. Like, it would, we would already been done if you wouldn't have been a lazy fuck and just helped out. Holy shit, look at all these skeletons. Oh shit, it's like fucking Mega Skeleton now. Oh my god, Fallen Guardian. What does it do? Cast Spectral Blades, holy shit. Holy shit, those are fucking intense. I don't think they really did that much damage. Can we just get some of these casters out of here? Look at that, that guy like casting electricity at me. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm stuck in here. I can't get out. I am stuck. I'm literally stuck in here. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Throw some glaives. I'm dead. Okay, so I can resurrect in a town, or I can resurrect at the entrance but lose 71 gold. Probably gonna resurrect at the entrance because you don't fucking... <sighs> I don't want to run the whole way back here, and you guys don't want to see me run the whole way back here, so... Pet, if you would have just helped out, we would have been done with this fucking place. Oh, I'm on the second floor. Okay. I thought I was going to start me on, like, the first floor. Let's just kill everything. Stop. Oh, they're going to block me in again. I'm going to die. See, I'm playing on normal mode, and I'm already getting, like, I'm dead. I'm in the corner. I'm dead. 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 I'm so dead. <gasps> no, I'm not. Just leave. No. Oh, God. I'm so bad at games. I apologize for my terrible playing. But we okay. We got this. I'm gonna go in and just tear them all up right now. I'm done kidding around. Yeah, die, Skeletal Archer. That's level five. What level am I? Uh, not that one. Oops. I level four. Yeah, these guys are like a level higher than me. That's it. Yeah, you're done. Just break a shield. Oh, or not? There, shattered. You're fucking dead. Why? Glaive, stop hitting the fucking side of the level. Get out of here. Holy shit. What is that? I don't want that piece of shit staff. Stop hitting off shit. Just fucking attack them. Chicken, go. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure I have to kill this guy to get... Whatever I'm looking for down here. Scroll or whatever. I hope I do. Because if I fucking kill this guy and he fucking... Where's my pet at? What is he doing? If I kill him and he doesn't give me anything, I'd be pretty mad. Holy shit. This guy's so much life. I only got him down to the A in Guardian. Holy shit. I'm about to die. Does he have like armor or something? He's a fucking skeleton. Get that armor off you. I want to break it. Like, I shattered this guy's shield right now. Hopefully, when I if I shatter his, like, armor, he'll be 
lot easier to kill. Holy shit, I'm gonna cut this out. You guys don't wanna fucking see me fight this guy for an hour. Holy shit. Yeah, die, 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 die. Yes! Critical 66. Just what, I'm what I wanted. Okay. So he's almost dead. I'm just gonna take all the damage I can from him. I don't care, because I'm gonna just keep shooting him. And he's done. Fucking, finally, level up. Scroll of the John is what I wanted. And then I get this spell, which is good, because I can show off a spell now. So that wasn't a complete fucking waste of my time. Well, I, mean, I guess I got the quest done for that woman outside. She better give me some good-ass loot. I'm about to start fighting. Okay, so I get Dervish level 1, which is it makes a whirlwind, I guess. The, wait, the caster whirls into action with rapidly accelerated attacks and casts for 10 seconds. So right-click it to actually learn it. And then drag it down to the bar. And then... Use it. And I guess it makes me attack... Yeah, I think it makes me attack faster, which is pretty cool. So I got that shit. Let's go back up. I like that they put, like, a portal back so you don't have to run the whole way the fuck through the dungeon again. And I get... I can get a hat for level 12. Why would... It, it's a level 5 dungeon. Shouldn't you give me level 5 loot? Uh, level 9 shotgun or this for my pet. I'm going to put this on my pet, actually. So, uh, what was the pet one? P. And then put it on his collar. Wait, is that the right? Enchanted collar. Oh, collar slots the middle one. Okay. And there we go. Does he actually get a collar? It doesn't look like it, but oh well. That's not that big a deal. So, yeah, I, okay. I think I should off a decent amount of the game. Uh, I don't think there's very much I didn't cover with, like, the basics of the game. I'm trying to go through all the stuff like you do. Oh, okay, well, I'll explain what the stats do real quick. Uh, I mean, they're kind of self-explanatory, but strength inc increases weapon damage, dexterity, crit and dodge, focus, magic damage, and uh, mana, and vitality, health, armor, and block chance. And, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I apologize, and I hope to see you in the next video.